Welcome back to ETBU Extra on the ETB Sportsnet at GoETBTigers.com. Hello, I'm Mike Mookie, the voice of Tiger Sports, and glad that you've clicked in today on the Internet to be a part of the show. We encourage you, if you're in the Marshall, Harrison County area each, on Wednesday, come by CC's in Marshall from noon to 1. You're at the buffet, including the drink, for just $5. Our segment, we continue to talk about Tiger Tennis. Just heard from Jeff Brand, the head coach of the Tiger Tennis team. Now we visit with one of his players. His name is Aaron Lagoria. He is from Bastrop, Texas, and I'm about to, to, to tell Aaron something he probably doesn't know, but in Bastrop, we have a famous ETV alum who is from that area. He's passed away, but he was a very famous stuntman in John Wayne movies way back when. I can't remember the, the, the man's name, but I just remember a couple of years ago when he was still alive, we honored him as an wow. alumni achievement award because of, of the accomplishments he had in the movie business as a stuntman who's from Bastrop, Texas. Wow, you learn something new every day, huh? That's right, before you came to college, right? Yeah, most definitely. All right. We're talking with Aaron Lagoria, <coughs> member of the Tiger Tennis team. And first question I, I want to ask you, Aaron, is how did you find out about, about coming to ETBU and playing tennis for the Tigers? Well, uh, previously I played uh, tennis for two years at Temple College, uh, Temple Junior College, um, and Coach Bramley was there at Nationals last uh, these past two semesters, and he showed up, and he was watching one of my matches. He talked to my dad. I came off of the court, and my dad said, well, hey, I got Coach Bramley over here. He's interested in you coming to play. So we started talking a bit, and, and uh, I was looking to see how my future was going to pan out with tennis anyway and such, and it just so happened I came here. When did you first start picking up a racket and playing tennis? Uh, my parents both played pretty often when I was younger. They would go to the the country club locally, and we would just go as me and my two sisters. We would just go and play. But when I officially took it on was when I was about 12 in middle school or so. And uh, from then on, my dad was the high school tennis coach, so I would go afterwards. He would take me there and such, and so I'd have to play the high schoolers, get beat up on from them, and just kind of play and enjoy the game. Well, since you played at the junior college level and now have moved to a four-year institution, is there much different in competition? Is competition better here in, in the, in the four-year university level, or is it about the same, or is it just all, all tough? Uh, it's, it's pretty tough all around. I would say that where I came from was, was a, bit, a bit tougher. I mean, uh, the junior college level, the D1, is pretty, they're pretty solid players. I go off and play at big-time D1 schools sometimes and such, but definitely the quality of players that are around here are no joke regardless. So you can't take anything lightly no matter where you come out of. Really good Tiger tennis player Aaron Lagoria from Bastrop, Texas. And, and Aaron, I, I want to kind of take you back in your mind a little bit. When you had an opportunity to get on the new Veterans Memorial tennis courts at ETBU, do you remember how you felt that day or, or what did you do? Uh, did, you, did you play somebody and win on that first day you got a chance to actually play on those courts mm -hmm. when they got finally finished? Uh, well, it was, it's just, it really was just a blessing to get all of it and it just all, everything just happened so fast and everything's still moving really fast. I mean, I can't, I, I remember our first practices and how everybody was really excited and, and we just, we, it, just the appreciation we have for it is just, it, it's phenomenal just to have all of that out there. I mean, as far as notable matches, I mean, the one we had this past weekend was, was, was a nice, uh, I think a nice start to the season and such. It's a real tough team and such, but that's probably the closest match I had. I had, we all had some really, really close matches outside of the scoreline and such, but that's one I'm going to remember for a bit, just to let that one sink in and get used to the atmosphere that we're going to be having. When Coach Bramlett was on the previous <coughs> segment, I mentioned to him how on the Twitter feed, I, I saw fans sitting in the stands rooting your own. Did you notice the fans? I, I try and, when, I, when I'm playing, I try and really just dial in on my court. I, I'd like to look around and such, but if I look around too much, I get a bit in focus. But sometimes when I did look up and around, I saw that we had a lot of, a lot of uh, riled up fans that were just getting really into it, a lot of shouting and stuff, which isn't, isn't very fun in tennis, but just, just having people out there just to see and appreciate what we have out there and show some support is just always it's wonderful. Final question, what do you like about being a student athlete at East Texas Baptist University? One of the things I, I really just in general enjoy about being here is the, 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 the teacher to uh, student relationship. A lot of the teachers here are, they're really, I mean, I came here, I came here late last semester and such, and they really helped me get, get going even though I was a week, a week late and such. And so that's probably my favorite thing about it. As far as being a student athlete, I like, I like being busy a lot and such. And so having the team bonding that we have and being with the teammates all the time and it's just knowing a lot of people around and such is just really, I think it's just one of my favorite things is the team aspect. Well, Aaron, thank you for coming out today. 
at CeCe's Pizza. Be on ETB Extra. Looking forward to seeing how your season will progress as a member of the Tiger tennis team. Best to you and your Tigers Friday and Saturday as you have some more home matches at the Veterans Memorial Tennis Complex. I appreciate it. All right, Aaron. Visit with Aaron Lagoria, a member of the Tiger tennis team at ETBU. If you go to the EP website, sometimes you might see his picture flashed on the home page. He's one of the students that we feature at etv.edu. And, yes, he does have a face for radio. <laughs> That's an old joke. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, let's get back to ETV Extra. We're live from CeCe's in Marshall, Texas, where you can get the buffet and a drink for just $5. It's the savings off the regular price. If you're in Marshall or Harrison County on Wednesdays, Come on by and be part of the audience. A lot of folks from ETV here in the community here enjoying the time as we talk Tiger sports. Coming up next on ETV Extra, I believe we're going to move our segment and talk about Lady Tiger softball with the head coach of Lady Tigers, Janae Shirley. Tiger softball coming up next on ETV Extra. You're listening to ETV Extra at GoETVTigers.com on the ETVU Sportsnet. East Texas.